<clears throat> I believe I am currently, currently live. live. Let me just, just double, double check, check here. here. So I apologize to some of you who are on right now. I'm just having some internet issues. Let's see. We'll begin in a second. I know we're running late. All right. Looks like at least some of it's working, so we'll start. All right, welcome to class. So let's start with a short meditation. So please bring your body into a comfortable position and see the posture. You can, you can also, also lie, lie down if you want, want to be comfortable. comfortable. So, so if you're, you're going to start, start in a seated posture for your meditation, I'm going to invite you to get your body comfortable, comfortable close your, your eyes, eyes, and lengthen your spine. spine. Feel, Feel free to, to wiggle, wiggle and get your body in a settled position. position. Take, Take a breath, breath long exhale. exhale. And from here, Begin to notice the room that you're in. Feel the space that you're resting in currently. Allow your awareness to open up into the room. And take a couple slow breaths without forcing the breath too much. Gentle breath in and a gentle exhale. And try a couple more rounds of that. Now the next couple breaths, as you're noticing the exhale, begin to bring awareness back more to the body and begin to sink the hips and legs if you're lying down your spine into the ground. So there's a sense of rooting and settling and melting into your base, right, into your ground. In your next exhale, see if you can soften the shoulders. And for now, feel the body getting heavier. And gradually invite your awareness to become more aware of the sensations that are present in the body. And notice the body. And as you notice your body, begin to notice your nervous system. Where's your nervous system currently? And then, and then next, notice, notice your mind. mind. What's the, the mind, mind up to? to? Is it busy? Is it distracted? What is it thinking about? And what kind of images? So when you look at the mind, you'll notice images or words, phrases, dialogue. And just noticing what arises in the mind. And notice if there are any corresponding emotions or feelings present in your body. So as we do this, as we drop into the mindfulness of the body, the breath, and the mind, we're shifting into a deeper state of presence and awareness. And from here, let's bring the palms together in front of the heart. I'm going to invite you to lengthen the spine again. And allow yourself, allow yourself to sit upright, tall spine. And just notice what it's like if uh, you're sitting when your spine is long and upright. Take several breaths here. If you like, set an intention for your practice. What are you calling in to your practice today? And let's do a little bow in. And remember, when you do a bow in, you're not bowing to me so much, you're bowing to your practice. And you're bowing to this time that you're going to spend taking care of your body and mind. In yoga, we like to hold this time as special and sacred. And when we enter into our practice in that way with a sense of reverence, we tend to be more open in body and mind to the practice and to get more benefit from the practice. 
So, if you like, taking a little bow into your practice, welcome. From here, let's come down onto our backs. So we're gonna lie down, just take the arms overhead and stretch the whole body out. You can extend through the hands and the fingertips into the feet. Give your body a nice long stretch. You can turn the head side to side, roll the ankles and wrists, take a nice deep breath in, and a long exhale. And if that breath felt good and you enjoy making sound, make you, uh, take a couple rounds of breath here just to breathe out and make some sounds that feel good to your body on the exhale. You can even grab the wrist and pull. And relax the body. Keep the arms overhead, but let the legs go limp and let the arms go limp. And begin to open the breath up through the rib cage, chest, abdomen. And just relax the body in this position. We're gonna hang we're gonna hang here for a bit. If you like, close your eyes and feel the body resting on the ground. Surrender your body weight into the floor. And in the beginning, this might be a little difficult if you've been running around or doing a lot today. So give your body some time to settle. And it, it's also okay if it doesn't completely relax right now. This is just the beginning. But we're seeing if we can begin letting go of some of the tension in the body into the support of the earth and the ground. Let's take a couple more breaths here, just resting on the ground. And walk your feet up. Bring the arms down to the sides. Lift the feet off the ground. You can cross your ankles here if you like. Bring your legs in. Cradle the knees lightly. Now as you draw your legs in towards the body, naturally your lower back is going to start pressing into the ground. So allow that to happen. Close your eyes. Tuck the chin slightly so the neck presses down towards the ground so you get a little elongation through your neck. I'd like you to bring awareness into your spine and your spinal column. And rest your awareness on the spine and begin breathing into your spine. Just by using the breath, see if you can unwind some of the tension in your spine. And we'll begin to rock side to side. So if you notice how I'm rocking here, I'm turning my head along with the legs. My whole body is rolling from one side to the other, so I'm getting as much surface area to massage and roll against the ground as possible. Imagine it's kind of like foam rolling if you've never done if you've ever done foam rolling, but you're using the ground instead of a foam roller, and you're rolling the tension in the back of the body out, pressing it into the ground. And keep going. Let's take a nice deep breath here. And back to center. Keeping the ankles crossed, begin to rotate the legs in circles. So the knees and the hips are both moving in the same direction as the other leg. So left and right leg both flowing in the same direction. And you're going to feel that lower back and the sacroiliac, the sacrum area, massaging into the ground. Again, if you feel comfortable here, close your eyes and breathe into the sacrum, breathe into the lower back. Continue to work on releasing the tension in the lower back. And reverse, opposite direction. Nice deep breath. And then uncross your ankles and rotate your hips away from each other. So this time the knees are moving away from each other and then in towards each other. And reverse. So waking up your hip joints.
Take another deep breath. Long exhale, keep breathing out. And bring your feet to the ground. Palms facing down next to the hips. And let's take some bridge rolls. So on the inhale, lift your hips up. All the way into the air. Walk your shoulder blades in. Take a nice bridge here. Lift the chest up towards the chin. Open the ribcage up. Inhale. Now bring the arms overhead. As you exhale, I want you to start rolling the spine down very slowly. And once you get to the mid-spine, roll the upper back and head up and reach the hands towards your thighs. Curl up and push the lower back into the floor. And then bring the upper back and head down. Reach the arms overhead. Inhale. Lengthen, Lengthen the spine. The spine. Exhale, bring, bring the arms down to the sides, lift the hips all the way up the bridge. Now walk your shoulder blades in, get a nice deep back bend. Ground the feet, roll the thighs and knees in. Get a stretch deep into the spine, turn on the glutes. Nice, release the arms, walk the shoulder blades out, arms overhead, roll the spine down, get to the mid spine, reach the hands towards your thighs, then push the lower back into the ground. Nice, then roll the upper back and head down. Lengthen, inhale, and then exhale, palms facing down next to the hips. Inhale, back up the bridge, all the way up the bridge. Walk the shoulders in. Good, hold here, pause, take a breath. Walk your shoulder blades out, curl the upper back and head up. Reach the hands towards your thighs, push the lower back into the ground. One more, head down, arms overhead and lengthen, inhale. As you exhale, palms facing down next to the hips, back up with the hips all the way up, bridge, walking shoulders under, both sides. Now this time, let's hold it for a second. So roll the thighs in so you're not splaying the knees out. Interlock your fingers. For those of you who can, walk your shoulder blades in a little closer, ground the feet, feel your toes, hold it, breathe into the spine, turn on the glutes. Deep breaths. One more. Nice, and then release the hands again. Take your arms overhead. Roll the spine down. Lift the upper back and head. Reach the hands towards the thighs. Roll the spine down. Nice, and then bring the head down. Take your arms overhead. Anchor the hips to the ground. Lengthen your spine out and take a nice deep breath in into your spine. Check your jaw on your face, relax the face, relax your jaw. Nice. Now from here, we're gonna roll the upper back and head up. Again, reach the hands towards your thighs, and I want you to lift your hips up slightly. So now you should be balancing right on the mid spine. And from here, rotate the arms and the spine in circles like this. So you're rolling on that mid back. And then reverse. If you get a little strain in the neck, just bring the head down when you go back here, and then lift. Rotate. Massage the mid-spine out. And release. Bring the head down, arms down, and turn the head one side to the other. Rotate the neck. Open the throat up. Bring the legs up into the air. Now slide your hands behind the head. I'm gonna have you lift the upper back and head up. And we're gonna scoop the hips off the ground ever so slightly. So notice my sacrum and my pelvis lifts off the ground. I'm squeezing my core muscles and I'm lifting up towards the ceiling. I'm squeezing the core, holding here. You can just do the best you can. If it gets too intense, just come down early. And release. Head down, feet to the ground, take a nice deep breath. Expand the ribcage open. Relax for a moment. And round two, legs up. Scoop hips up, lift upper back and head, squeeze core. Strong breath. Intensify the breathing. And release. Head down, feet to the ground, take a breath. Long exhale. Nice. 
legs. Then release the hands. Bring the legs in towards the body. Cradle the knees. Lift your ankles and then rock and roll along the spine. You can also grab the back of the legs here or grab the knees. If you want to work your core a bit more, you can release the hands and just use your legs and the core to rock along, along the, the spine. spine. And then come, come on, on up. up. Rise, Rise up to a seated, seated posture. posture. From here, come into a cross-legged position. If you have a hard time sitting on the ground, if you have a blanket or a cushion, put it underneath your hips. From here, we're going to take the left hand or the right hand down on the ground. And bring the hand on the thigh, knee. First, lift the heart and crown. Ground that sit bone that you're twisting away from. And slowly roll through the spine. Look over your shoulder. Turn the head. Close your eyes. From here, take a nice deep breath in. Now, if you're twisting over to your right, bring that right ear towards the right shoulder and breathe down the left side of your spine. Take your time here. Several deep breaths. If you have a hard time breathing, try untwisting a little so you're not cramp cramping the, uh, the rib cage in the spine and pinching the spine and the nerves and the ribs. And try this, notice the legs and the hips as you hold the twist, stay grounded. So we're releasing the tension in the body down into the ground, sending the energy into the earth. One more breath, inhale, and exhale, slowly release. Switch it up, other side. Make sure you ground the sit bones into the floor. Lift through the heart and crown. Inhale. Exhale, rotate, gentle twist. Tilt the ear to the shoulder. Stretch open the neck and throat. And breathe right through the side of the spine that you're twisting away from. Okay, let the breath open. Let's take one more breath. Nice and inhale, exhale, untwist. From here, take your hands, give your lower back a rub. And massage it down. Use your fingertips and rub the, the sacrum and right, right around the lower back, the bones around the lower spine, right around the top of the glutes. And release, take your hands forward. Support yourself with your hands and your arms and gently fourfold towards the ground. Okay. Keep it again soft and easy, nothing too hard. And close your eyes and bring awareness to your pelvis, your hips for a second and breathe into your hips and pelvis. And then breathe into your spine. Do that a couple more times, just breathing into the back side of the spine, back side of your body. Feeling your back expand as you inhale, and feeling the back soften as you exhale. Nice, and then coming up, roll the spine up as you inhale. Then take your hands behind you. Now, fingertips pointing forward, palms flat on the ground. Feet flat, lift your hips up. And we're going to come into reverse tabletop. Drop the head back into the shoulders and hold it. Take several rounds of breath here. Again, if it gets too intense, just come down early. And release. Hips down to the ground. Walk your feet close together and elevate the feet off the ground. So we're going to come into a light boat but a modified one. So you're gonna walk your hands forward on your fingertips, and then you're gonna roll forward on your sit bones. And until you feel the tension coming right into your lower abdominals, and I want you to hold it there. If you wanna challenge yourself, bring the thighs and the belly close together and roll further forward on the sit bones so the heels are about half an inch off the ground and hold it. If you do it right and you lean forward appropriately into the hands, so you need to use the hands here, you're gonna feel tension right beneath the navel and release, feet apart, hands slide back, one more time, reverse tabletop, all the way up, and hold it. 
Take a breath. So this is going to be a gentle, more or less, yoga class, but it's going to be somewhat challenging here today too. We're going to do some strengthening. So just take it at your own pace. Good. Hips down to the ground. We're going to do one more round on the boat. So lift your legs up. Bring the legs in close to the body. Walk your hands forward on your fingertips and roll forward on the sit bones. And again, you can modify here, just make it as intense as you like or less. If you want to make it more intense, you bring the heels closer while you bring the thigh and belly closer. Squeeze, lean forward further, and release. Nice. And come on to your hands and knees. So bring the hands right below your shoulders, knees right below your hips. And we're going to start moving the hips in circles. So first, let's actually push the hips back towards the heels. And stretch the feet out. Putting the knee in deep flexion, also the hips. Take a breath here. Rock side to side and roll the femurs, thigh bones. And then lean to the, let's go right. And then come forward, tuck the tailbone, tuck the pelvis, lean forward. To the left, lift the sit bones, forward pelvic tuck, push back to the hips. To the right, tuck the tailbone, roll forward. To the left, lift the sit bones, push back. Okay, to the right, tuck the tailbone, roll forward. To the left, lift the sit bones, push back. And pause. To the left, tuck the tailbone, roll forward. To the right, lift the sit bones, tilt the pelvis forward, push back with the hips, towards the heels. Okay, to the left, tuck the tailbone, roll forward. To the right, lift sit bones, push back. One more round. Left, tuck, forward. Right, sit bones up, push back. Now from here, take your knees nice and wide. And when you walk your hands forward and lengthen the front of the body. So notice how my head's up and the chin's up here. And I want you to really lengthen from the hips to the armpits. And create as much length to the front of your spine as possible as you come down into this child's pose. My toes are curled under in dorsal flexion, the heels are high. Okay, so this is going to keep my hips a little higher too. And it's going to give me a nice elongation to my front, the front of the spine. And you're going to slide down, bringing the forehead and forearms down to the ground, resting here. Take a nice deep breath into the mid spine, upper spine, into the armpits. Long exhale. Release tension. Keep breathing deeply here. <sighs> One more breath. Staying in the pose. And inhale, come back up. Onto the hands and knees. Now walk your knees close together. And then bring the left leg back behind you in the air. Okay, hold in balance. Now lightly pulse the left heel up and down and just wake up the, the left glutes here. And if your balance is fairly steady, now pause the left leg and bring the right arm up too. Lightly turn on the back muscles, draw the navel in and firm the core. Stabilize and hold. Keep breathing. And then bring the left knee and the right elbow together and touch. Squeeze the core, hold it. And inhale, extend. Exhale, hold it. And release. Take your knees wide. Nice child's pose. Walk the hands forward, elongate the spine again, and rest. Take a couple breaths. Good. And then come on all the way up. All right. Walk your knees close together. This time, right leg up. And again, pulse. And pause, left arm up, hold it. Draw the core in, good. Stabilize, so you're kind of stiffing up your body here, getting things nice and firm. 
steady and balanced. But let the body work here. We're warming things up and waking things up. Breath in and exhale release. Okay, one more time. Rest in chest pose. So bring the head down. I'm not gonna bring my head all the way down because this thing's a little too fluffy for my face. I feel like I'm drowning, so I'm gonna stay hovering, but feel free to bring your head down to the mat. And take a couple deep breaths, exhale long. You know, the best thing about doing yoga at home is you can make weird sounds. That you normally would not make in the yoga class because you're self-conscious. So feel free to moan, groan, make sounds, exhale, it helps. Uh. All right, and come on back, back up. From here, let's lift the knees up and let's take it to a downward dog. So as you arrive in your downward dog, bend one knee at a time, turn the hips, and move the body around. Nice. Lift both heels up. Inhale. Exhale both heels down. Inhale both heels up. Exhale both heels down. Inhale both heels up. And exhale both heels down. Now inhale slowly forward to plank. Exhale pull back, back downward facing dog. Down. Inhale forward plank. plank. Exhale, pull back, back down and Yeah, and inhale, forward plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Bend the knees and then walk your feet forward. Standing four fold. Take your feet nice and wide. So we're going to take a bit of a wider stance than you normally would. Bend the knees a little. You can soften the spine. Move the neck and shoulders and the spine around. Lean the body away from one side to the other. So leaning into the left leg, leaning into the right leg. Let's play here. Take the feet a little wider. So as you warm up, take the feet wider and wider. Bend the knees. So now you're a bit of uh, in, a, in a squat, horse stance-like position. And you're gonna bring the spine up. Then you're gonna shift the weight from one hip to the other. And sway, sway the spine, spine and move the arms. arms. So, so if you do a couple of that, you might be familiar with this movement. So it's kind of like a mix between a Qigong movement and a couple of movements. So you're shifting the weight, waking up those hips. And I want you to lean into those hips. So now try this. When you shift the weight to your right leg, I want you to twist the body a little. So that right hip pulls back. You're going to feel the glute, right? Butt up right here. Turn on. And then switch it. Side. Turn on the glute. Other side. Waking, Waking up, up those hips, hips side, side to side. side. Couple, Couple more. more. Let the head, the head tilt. tilt. Notice as I sway to the left here, the head tilts to the right. As I sway to the right, the head tilts to the left. Side to side. Nice, center. Hands on thighs. Take your feet a little wider, squat, and then pulse. Move the hips up and down. Support with the hands, and just waking up those hips. <sighs> And up, walk your feet in, and shake your legs out. Nice, hands on hips, bend the knees lightly, rotate your hips in circles. So this is a fusion class, it's gonna be a mixture of some yoga, some qigong, and some whatever random inspiration I get today is gonna to be mixed in. But the goal is to get you relaxed, feeling good in your body by the end of the session, so, so I, will I will promise or guarantee that. that. And reverse. reverse. Roll the hips, nice, nice and wide. Keep, keep your knees bent. bent. Feel, Feel the, the feet, feet. Notice, notice the ground. The ground. Notice, notice the breath, find, find the body. body. For, For some, some of you, your heart should be moving, pumping, pumping a bit more, should, should be warming up the body, body. feeling yeah. alive in the body. You've been cooked up all day. Feel the body. Give the mind a break. Take a break from the thoughts. And next, knees. So let's bring the feet together. Bend the knees. So what I usually do here is to bring the big toes together and have a little space between the heels. 
If that's too close for you, you can bring your feet a little further apart. But try to keep your knees touching and then rotate the knees in circles. So this is going to loosen up the feet, the ankles, and the knees. Along with the spine, if you get the uh, body relaxed, notice the spine also rotates or counter rotates in the opposite direction of the knees. So let that happen. Take a breath. And reverse. So I'm just turning here because uh, I'm just showing you different angles of movement. Don't feel like you need to do that yourself. Good. And bend and strain the knees. So there's nothing like getting the heart moving uh, that helps the heart move than getting the legs working and the hips working. So we're going to do a couple more things just to get the blood flowing here. Okay, let me just tuck the cord in here. Okay. All right. So now this time, pick your feet by hips width as far, feet parallel. Bend the knees. Now I want you to fold through the hips here and tuck the pelvis and sink into your hips. Now bring the arms forward. I'm going to just tuck uh, into a squat position. So notice I'm sticking my butt out and I'm not tucking the pelvis, but I'm rather sticking my glutes out. So the upper hamstrings and the glutes turn on. Come as low as you can comfortably hold it there. Again, this might not be quite comfortable, but you'll be working. It'll feel good. Now from here, Keeping the spine tilting forward, bring your hands together and press the palms together really firmly. Really push them together so the pecs turn on. And then lift the pelvic floor and draw the belly, the navel in towards the spine and hold it. So you're pushing together hands, draw core in, lift the pelvic floor, squatting into the legs, holding for five, intensify, four, three, two, one. Interlock your fingers, pull up, take your arms overhead and stretch, inhale, look up. Exhale, take a nice, nice breath, breath in, and exhale, arms out to the sides. This one, one back, just four folds slowly, all the way down. Bend the knees again if you need to. Don't overstrain the hamstrings. Relax the neck, move your necks around. Again, shift the weight side to side, left to right, sway. Nice, and then bring the hands to the ground. Slowly walk your feet back to a downward facing dog. And inhale forward to plank pose. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your knees to the ground. Then slowly bring your body all the way to the floor. Flat, face down. Overlap your palms, turn your head on the hands, and just relax for a moment. Take a breather if you want, you can shake your hips and legs side to side, loosen them up. Nice and easy, relaxed. Long exhale, relax the body into the ground. There's something about the solidness of the floor that's relaxing. Great, from here, head forward. Lift the legs up, lift the chest and head up, reach the arms back. We're going to turn on the back muscles and wake up the back body. Now as you're balancing on the belly here, try breathing into the belly. So the core works and diaphragm is working, opening up those lungs. And repeat. Two more breaths. Inhale. One more. And release, overlap your palms, turn the head the other way, and relax. Breathe into your back. Inhale, long exhale, relax. <sighs> Enjoy the rest. Notice the nervous system, bring the nervous system down a notch. In between exercises, calm your system down. Use the breath. One more time, head forward, legs up, arms reach back, again, balance on the belly, breathe into the core. So every time you inhale, the body lifts a little. Every time you exhale, the body falls to the ground because you're breathing into that core. 
Squeeze the head of your shoulders back. Reach back with your fingertips. Hold here. Turn on the glutes. Take it easy on the lower back. Turn on the mid spine and the upper back more. Squeezing those muscles. Pushing the blood through the muscles. And release. Nice. Slide the hands underneath your shoulders. Press through a cobra. Back to a child's pose. Curl the toes under if you like. Like this. Dorsal flexion again. Heels high. And rest forehead to the ground. If you like, rock the body side to side. In child's pose, rock the hips side to side. Release the body. Nice. From here, up onto hands and knees. Return to downward facing dog. From here, we'll do one more active sequence. So bring your feet close together and take your right leg up into the air. Bend the right knee, open the right hip out to the side. Lift the left heel up several times, up and down a couple times. If you like, draw the inner right knee up high and then slowly sweep the right leg forward to lunge. Bring the left knee to the ground. So feel free to pad the knee from the mat, you can fold it over. Give your knee a little padding and come up. Bring your torso and spine upright. Put your hands on your thighs. And first, just sink down just to get a stretch to the groin and the hamstring and the hip flexors. And then I want you to pull back. Bring the arms forward. Tilt the torso forward and, and now lean back into the hip, but turn on the right, gr right glutes. Tense up the right hip. Push the right heel into the ground. So you have nice, strong hips here, strong leg. Hands, hands together in front of the heart. heart. Again, press the palms together. Squeeze, squeeze the core, the lift the pelvic floor, floor lift the heart and crown. So, so there, there should be a, a strong tension actually, actually moving right through the midline of your body as you do that. Feel, feel that. that. We're, We're compressing, compressing the midline mid channel, the central channel, channel here. Lift, lift the pelvic floor, floor hold, squeeze, squeeze, and pull back, back a bit. <sighs> Take a break, inhale. Now exhale, you can either bring the left elbow right on top of the thigh, like this, and gently twist. Or if you want a bit more of a support, Bring the left hand to the ground, you can walk the left knee back and take a more supported, gentle twist. Whichever you like, breathe here. Nice long inhales and exhales. Holding the balance. Nice, and on your next exhale release. Hands down to the ground, lift the back knee up. Sweep the right leg back, downward dog. Pull it back. You can hold here in downward dog if you want. Optional, you can take a plank pose. You can either lower the knees or take a shadow arm. Up to you. Cobra pose or an upward facing dog on the breath. On exhale, we'll take it back all the way to a downward dog. Walking the feet close together and taking that left leg up in the air. Oops. Open hip, bend left knee. Optional, right heel goes up and down. While you're doing this, take some deep breaths, feel the body. Enjoy your strong, healthy body. And sweep the left leg forward to lunge. Right knee to the ground, bring the torso and spine upright. Slowly sink forward, hands on thighs. Get a light stretch, push into the ground, pull back, arms forward, and lean forward slowly into that left leg until you can feel the left hip turn on, hold it there. Keep the torso and spine upright. So you're still lengthening the spine and midline. Stable in the hip, and draw back. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Press the palms together, squeeze the core, Lift the pelvic floor, hold it, lean forward slightly. Okay, and then you can pull back again lightly and then twist. Right elbow on top of the left thigh. Gently sink, twist, hold and breathe. Again, you can also bring the right hand to the ground, left hand to the thigh. You can also slide the right knee back if you need to. Holding here. Notice, Notice breath. breath. Come, Come back, back to your, your body, body sense. sense. Nice. 
Nice, nice inhale. inhale. And exhale, release. Hands down. Lift the back knee up and take it back. Downward dog. And we're going to hold the downward dog and take some deep breaths into the posture. Whew. Nice. Bend the knees. Now walk your feet forward to the front of the mat. Come back into a standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift. Strain the legs out, lift the toes off the ground. And exhale, four fold, toes down. Bend the knees. Ground the feet and roll the spine up nice and slow. Don't rush it. And back, and back up to a standing, standing position, position into Dasana. So it's a nice, relaxed, relaxed standing posture. posture. Take, Take a breath, a long, long exhale. exhale. Feel the weight resting into the feet. Bring the weight into the center of your feet. And gently elongate the midline of your body. And rest in the standing position, in a state of being. Notice how you feel. Take your feet a little wider here, just a little bit. Bend, bend the knees and shake. shake. So you're so bending, bending, straining the knees, knees shaking, shaking the arms out, exhaling, making a little sound. sound. <sighs> Keep going. going. Do a body scan, so as you're shaking, moving awareness through the body, noticing areas where you're still holding tension, loosening those areas out. Check your belly, pelvis, thighs, knees, calves, ankles. Check your legs, chest, upper back, neck, shoulders, Wrists, forearms. And then shake. Shake a little more intensely. Shake. And keep going. Five, four, almost done. Three, two, one. And pause. You can just bringing awareness into the body, weight into the center of the feet, and noticing how you're feeling. Take your fingertips or your palms, begin striking the center of your chest, and making the ha sound, which is a sound for the heart organ, to release tension in the chest. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Ah. Again, okay. inhale. Exhale. Ah. Right. Use your palms, rub the chest down. And then rub the belly down. Wrap around the waist and rub the lower back area down. Use your palms and just see if there's any areas that feel a little achy or tense or painful. And give those areas a rub, massage. And then we're going to do a rub down of the hips. So the side of the hips, glutes, and you're going to work your way down the IT band, which is the side of your thigh here. And then do the quads in the front. I want you to rub your hamstrings down the back, your back side legs, back of the knees, side of your knees, above your knee, on the inside of the knees, and beneath the knees, and work your way down the shin, through the extensors, to the tops of the feet, 
Rub the tops of the feet. Come back up. And then rub the back of the legs, the calves, all the way down to the heel. And relax. Shake it out. Shake the legs out. Now from here, we're going to bend the knees now. See if you can come down to a low squat straight, just like this. If that's hard, take your time coming down. You can also sit on something. You can put a bolster, you know, block, foam roller, whatever you got. And you can sit on something like this and just walk the feet up. So again, you're putting the knees and hips in deflection. And then bring the spine forward. So in a low spot position, bringing shoulders on the inside of your knees here. You want to get deep into those hips. This is a good uh, posture for releasing the um, intestines and the rectum. So if you have trouble pooping, get some gas trapped in there. Good pose. Hold this for a while. Let it rip. I mean, the gas part, but not the other stuff. And see if you can breathe into your root or your base. <sighs> and relax the base. This is also really great for your lower spine too. So you can feel the tailbone moving down as the head reaches forward, the spine opens up. And keep breathing into the pelvis, lower back. Two more breaths. Hang in there. Keep breathing. Nice. And release. Bring your hips to the ground. Now I want you to bring your legs forward like this in front of you and just bounce the knees. Okay, so you're just bending and straining the knees, tapping the back of the legs into the ground. Now from here, knee back of the hands, roll the legs in and out and tap the big toes together. So you're rotating the, the legs internally, externally, back and forth. Great. And let's come down onto our backs, lying down. We're going to do a couple more stretches here before we relax. So from here, Bring that right leg up into the air, interlock your fingers behind the right leg, pull the leg towards you as you push your, as you push your leg into the hands lightly, right? So you're pulling back, and then you're pushing your leg into the hands. It's nice and easy, gentle. And roll the ankle around, I want you to release the ankle. And the foot, and your toes. And take a nice deep breath. If you like, close your eyes. Release the spine into the ground. And reverse. Point and flex the foot. And release, bend and strain the knees. Take that right ankle across your left thigh. And then take your right hand and lightly press down against the inner thigh and open that right hip up. If you have your left arm and you want to extend it overhead, you can try that if it's okay for your shoulder. Just be careful with the knee on the right knee here. And we're going to push down on the thigh, away from the torso. Breathe into the knee and hip. Feel the length from the right hip to the left shoulder. And then once you start to feel the knee and hip soften or release, and just take your time. If you need to take another breath or two, just take your time. Don't rush it. But when that happens, when you feel a release happening, then begin to lift the left foot off the ground. For some of you, you're not going to grab the leg because it's going to be too much for your knee. You can even keep the foot on the ground if it's too much for your knee and hip. But if you can, you push the leg in towards your body by lifting that left foot up. Step one is to just grab the knee with the left hand like this. And if you can easily grab the knee with both hands, or you can go for the hamstrings with both hands, you can go there. Wherever you are, close your eyes, go slow, don't hurt yourself, okay? Don't push. If you notice yourself straining too much and huffing and puffing, back off, okay? Safety first. And then breathe into the spine, relax the spine. Okay, for some of you who have tighter hips and knees, you're not gonna to go to that stage, you're just gonna hang out here. 
Right? And you can always release a little early and rest on your back. Just a couple more breaths. And release the left foot down. Slowly, once you bring the left, left foot down to the ground, slide the right leg out and bend and strain the right knee. And then I'm going to switch it up, bring the right foot to the ground. Left leg goes up, interlock the fingers behind the left leg. Push the uh, left leg into the hands. Pull back on the leg with the hands. Begin to rotate the ankle and foot. And reverse. And point and flex foot. And I spin and strain the knee. So this sequence is great if you've been hiking a lot recently or walking a lot. It's nice for releasing the legs, ankles, hips, the hamstrings. Take the ankle across the thigh. Left hand pressing down against the inner thigh. If it's okay for your shoulder, arm goes overhead. Just lengthening the body and torso and spine the opposite direction. Breathing into that left hip. And as you feel ready, if you feel the hip and knees ready, just very carefully, again, be very careful with this one. It's not worth hurting your knees. Okay, you wanna go nice and gradual. Keep breathing. Again, with yoga, you can do the intense postures and really challenge the body and it's great and it's fun. It can feel so lively and amazing. But as our bodies age, it's also okay to take the practice really gentle and just do enough to help the circulation and flexibility so we feel good in our bodies, but not so much that we injure ourselves. So it's a fine balance in our practice to find the place where we're getting the benefit that we're seeking, but we're not overdoing it. Uh, keep relaxing into the stretch. Remember, stretching is, is mostly about relaxation, actually. To gain flexibility in the muscle, you have to release the nervous system. That's why the breathing is so important. Nice. And very gently, slowly and gradually, release that right foot down, slide the left leg out. And bend and straighten the knees here, the knee here, left knee. Left foot down. Now bring the arms overhead. Keeping the feet where they are, I'm going to have you drop your knees over to the right like this and bring the arms, slide the arms over to the left and turn the head and look left. And push the knees down lightly as you pull the arms and fingertips away in the opposite direction. Breathe here. Continue to surrender into the ground, into the earth. Great, and then switch it up. Take your knees over to the other side. Again, keep the feet staggered so they're not stacked on top of each other here. Your right knee should hover above the left ankle. Slide the arms over to the right, turn the head to the right, and just relax. Let go into gravity and surrender body into Mother Earth and her embrace. She's got gotcha. you. So as I said, a lot of yoga is about releasing tension in the body to gain flexibility. And what's happening in that process is an unwinding of the body and nervous system. We're learning how to let go and surrender and open. In that process, we're releasing stress, releasing patterns of tension and stress stored in the body. We're opening the flow of what the yogis call the prana or the life force. So the body and mind, the organs, everything functions in a more optimal state, in a state of flow. Nice. And then back to center, 
cradle the legs into the lower of the body one more time. Take a breath. If you want to bring the head up towards the knees to lengthen the spine out, you can do that. I would say push the knees into the arms here so you can curl around the spine and stretch the spine a little more. And slowly release. Head down and just slide your legs down. Let's take Shavasana or corpse pose. So if you're doing this video, don't skip this part. This is the yummy part. You want to let your body integrate everything you just did. It's one of the things that make yoga really unique is the Shavasana, is the resting afterwards, is the pausing between the postures at the end of the postures. So surrendering any remaining tension in the body into the ground. Checking the body for any residual tension. Relaxing the jaw and the mouth. Softening your face. Relaxing breath. See if you can also soften your mind. Whatever thought, if some of you are obsessed with anything, can you let that go for a moment? Well, you can come back to it later. It'll be there. Allow yourself to take a break. Just resting in a state of being. Nothing else to do, nothing else to fix or change. Take your arms overhead and stretch the body out gently. Bring the feet closer together as well and extend down to the heels. Take a nice breath in. All right, as you walk your feet up, come over onto your side and raise your head up and slide the arm or forearm underneath the head. Just rest on your side in the fetal position. Take a breath. Let's come up to a seated position to end. So find a comfortable seated posture. Let's bring the palms together in front of the heart. Lengthening the spine. Just noticing how you feel after your practice. It's important to take a moment and savor the effect of what you've done. And from here, let's just all drop into our hearts and just think about all the beings out there who might be having a hard time, just wishing them well. And from our hearts, may we extend out an energy of kindness and compassion and positive energy and extend that out to all beings. And when we give it out, it also returns to us. May we multiply that goodness in our hearts, in our being, in our body, mind, and in the world. And may all beings everywhere be happy and free. All right, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we have a wonderful rest of the day.
Thank, Thank you. you.